The vertically slit-shaped pupils found in the eyes of cats are a remarkable feature of their anatomy, offering unique insights into their visual capabilities and evolutionary adaptations. Unlike the round pupils typical of humans and many other species, cat pupils are elongated slits that can constrict and dilate dynamically in response to changing light conditions. This paper delves into the functional significance and evolutionary origins of cat pupils' unique morphology, drawing upon comparative anatomy, experimental studies, and behavioral observations. The structure and mechanism of cat pupils are intricately linked to their role in regulating light entering the eye. The slit shape allows cats to adjust the size of their pupils more precisely than species with round pupils, enabling them to effectively manage the amount of light reaching their retinas. This ability is particularly advantageous in varying light conditions, such as dawn and dusk, as well as in environments with bright or dim illumination. Moreover, slit-shaped pupils contribute to cats' depth perception and visual acuity, enhancing their ability to detect and pursue prey. By controlling the aperture of their pupils, cats can optimize their vision for different distances, aiding in the accurate estimation of prey location and trajectory. This aspect of cat pupils' functionality is crucial for their success as stealthy hunters, enabling them to stalk and capture prey with remarkable precision. The evolutionary origins of slit-shaped pupils in cats remain a subject of scientific inquiry, with several hypotheses proposed to explain their adaptive significance. One hypothesis suggests that the elongated pupil shape evolved to optimize light capture while minimizing the effects of glare from bright light sources. Another theory proposes that slit pupils enhance depth perception and peripheral vision, facilitating hunting in low-light conditions. These hypotheses underscore the complex interplay between environmental pressures and visual adaptations in shaping the evolution of cat pupils. Behavioral observations and experimental studies provide further insights into the functional significance of cat pupils. Observations of cat behavior reveal how changes in pupil size and orientation correspond to shifts in arousal, attention, and visual focus. Experimental investigations into the effects of pupil shape on visual performance demonstrate the advantages of slit-shaped pupils in tasks requiring accurate depth perception and motion detection. Beyond their biological function, cat pupils hold cultural and symbolic significance in human society. Depictions of cat eyes in art, literature, and folklore often emphasize their enigmatic and mesmerizing qualities. From ancient civilizations to modern popular culture, cat pupils have been imbued with symbolic meanings ranging from wisdom and intuition to mystery and magic. In conclusion, the vertically slit-shaped pupils of cats represent a fascinating example of evolutionary adaptation and functional morphology. Their unique structure and mechanism afford cats exceptional visual capabilities, allowing them to thrive in diverse ecological niches as agile predators. By elucidating the adaptive advantages conferred by slit-shaped pupils, this contributes to our understanding of the complex interplay between form and function in the evolution of sensory systems. The tapetum lucidum, a reflective layer situated behind the retina of a cat's eye, stands as a testament to the marvels of natural adaptation. Its presence confers upon felines a unique advantage in the realm of vision, particularly in low-light conditions. This reflective layer acts as a biological amplifier, reflecting light that has already passed through the retina, effectively granting cats a second opportunity to capture and process photons. The result is a form of vision unparalleled in the animal kingdom allowing cats to navigate the dimly lit landscapes of the night with unparalleled ease and precision. To understand the tapetum lucidum and its significance fully, one must first delve into the intricacies of feline ocular anatomy. The eye of a cat, like that of many mammals, comprises several essential structures, each playing a vital role in the visual process. At the forefront lies the cornea, 
a transparent dome-shaped structure that acts as the eye's primary refractive surface. Light entering the eye passes through the cornea, where it is refracted and directed towards the lens. Behind the cornea sits the iris, a muscular diaphragm responsible for regulating the amount of light entering the eye. The iris contains an aperture called the pupil, which can dilate or constrict in response to changes in light intensity. In cats, the pupil takes on a unique vertically slit-shaped form, allowing for precise control over the amount of light entering the eye, a feature that complements the role of the tapetum lucidum in low-light vision. Beyond the iris lies the lens, a flexible structure that focuses incoming light onto the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina contains specialized cells called photoreceptors, rods and cones, that convert light into electrical signals, which are then transmitted to the brain via the optic nerve. It is here, at the interface between light and neural processing, that the tapetum lucidum exerts its profound influence. The tapetum lucidum itself is a thin layer of cells located within the choroid, the vascular tissue layer that supplies oxygen and nutrients to the retina. Composed primarily of collagen and reflective crystals, the tapetum lucidum acts as a biological mirror, bouncing incoming light back through the retina. This phenomenon, known as retroreflection, effectively doubles the exposure of photoreceptors to incoming photons, enhancing the eye's sensitivity to low levels of light. The adaptive significance of the tapetum lucidum becomes evident when considering the evolutionary pressures faced by nocturnal predators such as cats. In the cover of darkness, where sources of illumination are scarce, the ability to detect even the faintest glimmer of light can mean the difference between success and failure in the hunt. By amplifying the available light, the tapetum lucidum enables cats to perceive their surroundings with greater clarity and detail, giving them a decisive advantage over their prey. Moreover, the tapetum lucidum's reflective properties contribute to another intriguing aspect of feline physiology, the phenomenon of eye shine. When light strikes the eyes of a cat in the dark, the tapetum lucidum reflects it back with such intensity that the eyes appear to glow, an effect that has captivated human observers for centuries. This eerie luminosity serves not only as a visual spectacle but also as a functional adaptation, allowing cats to locate one another in the darkness and communicate non-verbally through subtle changes in eye color and brightness. The evolutionary origins of the tapetum lucidum trace back millions of years, to a time when ancestral mammals first ventured out under the cover of night. In the dimly lit landscapes of the prehistoric world, the ability to see in low light conferred a significant survival advantage, enabling early predators to hunt more efficiently and avoid potential threats. Over time, natural selection favored the development of specialized adaptations such as the tapetum lucidum, paving the way for the emergence of modern nocturnal hunters like cats. In conclusion, the tapetum lucidum stands as a remarkable example of evolutionary ingenuity, offering cats a distinct advantage in the realm of nocturnal vision. By amplifying the available light and enhancing the sensitivity of the eye to low levels of illumination, this reflective layer enables cats to navigate the darkness with unparalleled precision and efficiency. From the depths of prehistory to the present day, the tapetum lucidum remains a testament to the power of adaptation in shaping the sensory capabilities of the animal kingdom. Binocular vision is a remarkable sensory adaptation shared by both humans and cats, enabling these species to perceive depth and accurately judge distances in their environment. This trait, arising from the convergence of visual input from both eyes, plays a pivotal role in various aspects of feline behavior, including hunting, navigation, and social interactions. Through a comprehensive exploration of the anatomical, physiological, and behavioral dimensions of binocular vision in cats, we gain valuable insights into the adaptive significance of this sensory mechanism. The anatomical basis of binocular vision lies in the spatial arrangement of the eyes within the skull. 
In both humans and cats, the eyes are positioned laterally on the face, with each eye capturing a slightly different perspective of the visual scene. This binocular arrangement allows for the overlap of visual fields, the region where the fields of view from both eyes converge. The extent of binocular overlap varies among species, with predators like cats exhibiting a relatively high degree of overlap to facilitate depth perception. Physiologically, binocular vision relies on the coordination of visual information between the two eyes, a process known as binocular fusion. In cats, neurons in the visual cortex integrate signals from corresponding points in the retinas of both eyes, creating a unified representation of the visual scene. This convergence of visual input enables cats to perceive disparities in the position of objects relative to their own position, providing crucial information about depth and distance. The adaptive significance of binocular vision in cats is evident in their hunting behavior, which relies heavily on precise depth perception and spatial awareness. When stalking prey, Cats utilize binocular cues such as relative motion and parallax to gauge the distance and trajectory of their target accurately. By aligning their binocular vision with their predatory instincts, cats can pounce with remarkable accuracy, minimizing the chances of missing their quarry. Binocular vision also plays a crucial role in cats' ability to navigate their environment with precision. Whether traversing complex terrain or negotiating obstacles, cats rely on depth perception to assess distances and plan their movements accordingly. This spatial awareness is particularly important in nocturnal hunters like cats, who must navigate dimly lit environments with limited visual cues. By leveraging their binocular vision, cats can move with agility and confidence, exploiting the full range of their sensory capabilities. Moreover, binocular vision facilitates social interactions among cats, allowing them to communicate and establish dominance through subtle cues and body language. By maintaining eye contact with other cats, individuals can convey their intentions and assert their social status, reinforcing group dynamics within feline communities. Binocular cues such as gaze direction and facial expressions play a crucial role in feline communication, enabling cats to negotiate conflicts and maintain social cohesion. The evolutionary origins of binocular vision trace back to early mammals, whose ancestors roamed the earth millions of years ago. As terrestrial predators evolved to pursue agile prey in three-dimensional environments, the ability to perceive depth and accurately judge distances became increasingly advantageous. Natural selection favored individuals with binocular vision, leading to its widespread prevalence among mammals, including humans and cats. In conclusion, binocular vision stands as a hallmark of sensory adaptation, conferring upon cats a unique advantage in hunting, navigation, and social interaction. By integrating visual input from both eyes, cats can perceive depth and accurately judge distances in their environment, enhancing their ability to thrive as agile predators and social beings. From the anatomical structures of the eye to the neural circuits of the brain, binocular vision represents a remarkable convergence of biology and behavior, a testament to the power of evolution in shaping the sensory capabilities of the animal kingdom. The exceptional peripheral vision of cats stands as a testament to the remarkable sensory adaptations that have evolved in these agile predators. With a field of view spanning approximately 200 degrees, cats possess a panoramic awareness of their surroundings, far surpassing the peripheral vision capabilities of humans. This wide visual field enables cats to detect movement and potential threats from various angles, enhancing their ability to navigate their environment, monitor potential prey, and evade predators. Peripheral vision, also known as indirect vision, refers to the ability to perceive objects and motion outside the direct line of sight. Unlike central vision, which is focused on the area directly in front of the eyes, Peripheral vision encompasses the surrounding visual field, extending to the sides and peripheries of the visual field. 
In cats, this expansive field of view is made possible by the spatial arrangement of the eyes within the skull, as well as the distribution of photoreceptor cells in the retina. The anatomical basis of cat's exceptional peripheral vision lies in the lateral placement of their eyes on the skull. Positioned laterally, with each eye facing outward, cats possess a wide binocular overlap that maximizes their field of view. This binocular overlap extends to approximately 60 degrees in cats, providing a region of stereoscopic vision where visual input from both eyes converges. Beyond this binocular zone, cats rely on monocular vision, with each eye capturing a separate but overlapping field of view. The distribution of photoreceptor cells in the retina further contributes to cats' peripheral vision capabilities. While the fovea, a small, central region of the retina, contains a high density of cones specialized for detailed central vision, the peripheral retina is rich in rod cells, which are sensitive to low levels of light and motion. This specialization allows cats to detect movement and changes in their peripheral visual field with remarkable sensitivity, even in dimly lit environments. The adaptive significance of peripheral vision in cats becomes evident when considering their role as ambush predators and agile hunters. In the wild, cats rely on their keen senses to detect prey, monitor potential threats, and navigate complex environments with speed and precision. By maintaining a wide field of view, cats can monitor their surroundings for signs of movement or disturbance, alerting them to the presence of potential prey or predators. Moreover, peripheral vision plays a crucial role in cats' ability to maintain situational awareness and avoid potential dangers. Whether stalking prey in tall grass or navigating dense vegetation, cats must remain vigilant to detect approaching threats from all directions. Their expansive peripheral vision enables them to scan the environment for potential dangers while focusing their attention on specific targets or points of interest. In addition to its role in hunting and survival, peripheral vision contributes to social interactions among cats, allowing them to communicate and establish dominance through subtle cues and body language. By monitoring the movements and postures of other individuals in their vicinity, Cats can gauge social dynamics and assert their place within the social hierarchy. Peripheral vision thus plays a vital role in maintaining social cohesion and resolving conflicts within feline communities. The evolutionary origins of cats' exceptional peripheral vision can be traced back to their ancestral lineage as nocturnal hunters and solitary predators. In the cover of darkness, where sources of illumination are scarce, the ability to detect movement and potential threats from various angles conferred a significant survival advantage. Natural selection favored individuals with wide peripheral vision, leading to its widespread prevalence among modern felids. In conclusion, the exceptional peripheral vision of cats represents a remarkable adaptation to their predatory lifestyle and nocturnal habits. By maximizing their field of view and sensitivity to movement, cats can monitor their surroundings with unparalleled precision, enhancing their ability to hunt, navigate, and communicate in the wild. From the anatomical structures of the eye to the neural circuits of the brain, peripheral vision reflects the intricate interplay between biology and behavior, a testament to the power of evolution in shaping the sensory capabilities of the animal kingdom. The adaptation of cats to low-light conditions stands as a testament to the remarkable evolution of their visual system, enabling them to thrive as nocturnal hunters in dimly lit environments. At the core of this adaptation lies the high density of rod cells in the feline retina, specialized photoreceptor cells that excel at detecting and processing low levels of light. This unique ocular architecture equips cats with superior night vision, allowing them to navigate darkness with ease and precision, and providing a crucial advantage in the pursuit of prey. To understand the adaptation of cats to low-light conditions, it is essential to delve into the structure and function of the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina contains two types of photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. 
While cones are responsible for color vision and high acuity daylight vision, rods are specialized for low light conditions, offering enhanced sensitivity to dim illumination. In cats, the retina is densely populated with rod cells, particularly in the peripheral regions, a configuration that optimizes their ability to detect faint light sources and movement in the darkness. This high density of rods allows cats to capture and amplify even the smallest photons of light, providing them with a detailed and highly sensitive representation of their nocturnal environment. Moreover, the anatomical arrangement of rod cells in the feline retina contributes to their exceptional night vision capabilities. Rod cells are interconnected with each other and with specialized retinal circuits, allowing for spatial summation and signal amplification. This interconnected network of rods amplifies the visual signal, enhancing the cat's ability to detect dim light and subtle contrasts in their surroundings. The adaptive significance of cat's adaptation to low-light conditions becomes evident in their role as nocturnal hunters. In the cover of darkness, where sources of illumination are scarce, the ability to detect prey and navigate complex environments is paramount to survival. By leveraging their highly sensitive rod-rich retinas, cats can effectively scan their surroundings for potential prey, monitor movements, and engage in stealthy pursuits under the cover of night. Furthermore, the adaptation to low-light conditions extends beyond hunting to encompass various aspects of feline behavior and ecology. In the wild, cats must remain vigilant to threats from predators and competitors. Even in the absence of daylight, their enhanced night vision allows them to maintain situational awareness and respond swiftly to changes in their environment, minimizing the risk of predation and ensuring their survival in the wild. The evolutionary origins of cats' adaptation to low-light conditions can be traced back to their ancestral lineage as crepuscular and nocturnal predators. Over millions of years of evolution, natural selection favored individuals with heightened sensitivity to dim light, leading to the proliferation of rod-rich retinas among modern felids. This adaptive trait conferred a significant advantage in the pursuit of prey and avoidance of predators, shaping the visual system of cats as we know it today. In conclusion, the adaptation of cats to low-light conditions represents a remarkable example of evolutionary specialization, finely tuned to the demands of their nocturnal lifestyle. By harnessing the sensitivity of their rod-rich retinas, cats can navigate darkness with unparalleled precision, hunt effectively under the cover of night, and maintain vigilance in the face of potential threats. From the anatomical structures of the eye to the behavioral strategies of hunting and survival, the adaptation to low-light conditions reflects the intricate interplay between biology, ecology, and evolution in shaping the sensory capabilities of the animal kingdom.